For the first time, we are seeing the face of the teenager who admits to killing 10-year-old Jessica Ridgway. That's Austin Sig, appearing in court for the first of a two-day sentencing hearing today. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn in the courtroom for the hearing. And Russell, a lot of the testimony hard to listen to. Yeah, very difficult testimony to listen to today and here at the Jefferson County Courthouse because of the graphic nature of the crime. 18-year-old Austin Sig is being sentenced for kidnapping, sexually assaulting, and killing 10-year-old Jessica Ridgway last fall. He's also being sentenced for attacking a female jogger prior to Jessica's murder. After this video tribute to Jessica shown in court today, Austin Sig used a tissue to wipe away tears. Jessica's mother, Sarah, just before the video tribute. I don't think that the defendant has the right to hear how he affected my, me, my family, or who Jessica was. Once we walk out of this courtroom, we'll not remember his name. We also heard from friends today. She was an amazing little girl. Her life touched so many people. And it was snuffed out before her time. Testimony and sentencing included graphic descriptions of how Austin Sig killed the 10 year old. A psychologist says Sig displayed callousness and called him a necrophiliac. He planned it before he kidnapped, uh, before he kidnapped her because when he was asked by police, what were you planning on doing to the jogger? He said the same thing that I did to Jessica. At the end of testimony, Jessica is seen talking on the video. Hi, I'm going to drink some lemonade. And then Sig is led away in handcuffs. I cannot help but have joy and relief in my heart because my lovely little Jessica is safe in a place where no one can ever hurt her again. The final day of testimony and sentencing tomorrow here at the Jefferson County Courthouse. The defense expected to put on its case, including Austin Sig, possibly testifying. Comprehensive coverage of today's testimony on the 7 News mobile app. For now, we're live in Jefferson County. I'm Russell Haythorn, 7 News. So again, we will be in court tomorrow, live streaming the sentencing hearing on the 7 News app. And if you can't watch it online, you can follow us on Twitter for the latest on testimony from the courtroom.